Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch with me, Gustav Muller, as your host. Today's whiskey is the fourth in this mini series, the fourth and the last one in this mini series that I'm doing on the Glenlivet Nadura range. And today's whiskey is the first full selection, Nadura first full selection. So, in the previous three videos, I've already reviewed the Nadura 16. The Nadura Oloroso and the Nadura Peated Cask Whiskey Cask Finish. So today the first full selection. Glen Livet, of course, one of the three big single malt producers. Top three. If you're talking single malt production, it's Glen Livet, Glen Fiddick, and McCullen. And Glen Livet was founded in 1824. 1824, it's owned by Shiva's Brothers, part of the Pernod Ricard group, and it's situated in Speyside in Scotland, in the Highlands. So if you have a look at the map here, the lowlands of Scotland in the Highlands, and there's the Speyside region, uh, where more than half of all of the distilleries in Scotland situated in Speyside, and then Glenlivet, of course, as well. Glen Livet means the glen or the valley through which the river Livet flows. And there is a photograph of the valley and the Glen Livet distillery way down there below. And these are some of the copper pot stills where the whiskey is distilled at the Glen Livet distillery. So today's whiskey, a cask strength whiskey. Nadura means natural from the Gaelic Nadura. So it is as natural as possible directly from the cask, no water dilution to 40 or 43 percent. So in this particular case 60.4 percent ABV which is quite high, extremely high actually. Not as high as the 62 other Nadura that we did, no chill filtration, no colorants added and at the back there is a couple of notes which I'm going to read for us. This particular whiskey matured in first full American white oak casks. So the box says color is light gold, I can agree with that, pale gold, pale straw color. And on the nose we can expect the following, an enticing mix of soft vanilla fudge, notes of sweet ripe pears engulf the senses. Palette, a tantalizingly tropical mix of juicy pineapple, ripe banana, cut with zesty citrus flourish. The finish is medium and refreshing. Let's see if I agree with that today. Then live it in a Jura. Yo, the fruits is, is right there immediately. Pineapple. So I agree with the notes on the packaging. Pineapple. Not getting the pears so much. Pineapple on the nose. Vanilla fudge. Wonderful nose. What is amazing is even though 60 plus percent alcohol by volume. There's no alcohol burn on the nose. It is quite soft on the nose. Apples and creme brulee. And there's a slight candy note, almost like candied fruits. Custard. The pears, ripe pears, are making their appearance as you spend time with this. Hmm. As with the previous Najuras that I've already reviewed, the very high ABV alcohol gives you this tingle all over your palate so you can 
you are quite aware that this is a very high alcohol by volume but with that comes the abundance of flavors you see the more they reduce the alcohol with water to make a normal standard bottling of 40 or 43 percent the more you lose flavor so there's a there's just a bundle of flavors here the vanilla the vanilla fudge sweet ripe pears on the palate apples mm, mm. toasted coconut and custard it's like a vanilla custard that i'm getting caramel with nuts banana citrus flavorful fruity and the finish is let's say medium long the finish is actually quite long and it's quite refreshing the citrus is there in the finish the nuttiness the oak spices but for me in a nutshell this whiskey is all about the pineapple the pineapple and the vanilla custard i wonder if i add Let's add a few drops of water and with this very high ABV you can add 10 drops of water just to reduce that alcohol a little bit and see you see the Glenlivet motto is add a few drops of water to release the monster to release the flavor monster in this whiskey. Much more pear with the water. Much more candied fruit with the water. Fruit custard, much milder. It just gets better and better. I did promise that when I do the fourth one, I will reveal which one is my favorite. And I must say, even though I'm a sherry cask, Whiskey fan, this is my favorite one out of the bunch of four in the Najura range. An excellent, excellent whiskey. The price is around 60 pounds uh, or 45 pounds in the UK, 60 dollars in the US and a thousand rand here in South Africa. If you want to pair this whiskey with a food snack, uh, you can try to connect with your snack connect with the coconut because there's also a bit of coconut i did not mention that there's so much going on here you can try to connect with that with a lindor coconut chocolate or you can connect with a custard with a creme brulee or a custard based dessert uh, or even a smoked salmon roll on cream cheese and a cracker but with a few drops of lemon to connect to the citrus note in this whiskey uh, you can also consider a, a salad with a citrus lemon dressing what I've got for today is a pineapple and marshmallow fridge tart I am going to connect with the vanilla with the very strong vanilla flavors in here and the pineapple there's pieces of pineapple in there and of course the vanilla in the marshmallows and there's also a few drops in the recipe there's a few drops of lemon so a whole lot in there that can actually connect with this whiskey so i'm quite excited about this one of my wife's specialities pineapple and marshmallow fridge tart This is going to be good. My wife's speciality, my favorite, five out of five pairing. When I'm finished with this video, I'm going to finish this whole lot. Excellent. Thank you for watching. Remember to share this video with your friends and I will see you again tomorrow with more whiskey reviews, whiskey tastings and whiskey and food pairings. Slancha.